In this video, I'm going to go over how to find the domain and range of the function that's graphed, and we're going to use interval notation. The domain for this graph is the x values, and the x values go from left to right on the graph. So as you can see, the arrow extends um, pointing to the upper left and to the upper right. So this graph is going to continue forever and ever to the left and forever and ever to the right. So the domain is all the x values from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now if we put that in interval notation, we always use parentheses around infinities. And the graph goes from the far left of negative infinity to the far right of positive infinity. Let me just move that, making sure that I enter infinity in the correct place and check my answer. Now let's look at the range. The range is the y values going from lowest y value to the highest y value. This lowest y value appears to be about right here, and it looks like the scale is by twos. So if we count two, four, six, eight, ten, we see that the scale is two units for every block. So the lowest y value is actually right here at positive three. It inc the graph includes positive three and continues going up and up to positive infinity. So the range is the y values from the lowest y value to the highest y value. In interval notation, we are going to use a bracket for, oops, step back there, a bracket for three as our lowest y value and the highest y value is infinity. So I'm going to use parentheses around infinity and let's check our answer. All right, I hope this is helpful.